Hi guys. Today we're going to uh, take a short series into the Stephen Hayes 14 point mindful action code. Uh, today we're going to deal with the two material considerations. Um, so uh, Stephen Hayes, the one of the founders of Nujutsu in America, uh, way back in the what 60s and 70s or is it 70s and 80s, I'm not sure. But he went to Japan, found this art, decided to teach it over here. So, uh, up in uh, Tucker, Georgia. So, one of the things he added was this 14 point code that both pushes and pulls you in the right direction. So there's always a, I want, and I want to avoid. Um, <clears throat> so we'll go through those right here. Material considerations, number one, I protect life and health. I avoid violence whenever possible. We, in the Bujinkan and in other ninjutsu classes, uh, we like to talk about how we were, you know, willing to, if we need to, gouge a guy's eye out to, to survive and get home safe to your family, right? Um, but I put those techniques in the same category as pulling a gun. So if you're willing to pull a gun on anyone because you're Mindset is, well, the gun is the ultimate equalizer, and uh, if I see a guy with martial arts ability, I will just uh, pull my gun and shoot him. Um, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense in the reality of things. If you think about um, legal considerations, like if you're protecting your family, how can you do that from jail? Um, if your first go-to and always go-to is, I'm going to gouge a guy's eye out. You will survive. But if that's what you do every time, or that's your, that's your default, that's your uh, answer to what if this, what if that, you know, never bring a knife to a gunfight. What's a bayonet? Anyway, past that, just think about the appropriateness of situations. Just because we're willing to be violent does not mean we don't know when to use it. And uh, lots of people are surprised that Violence is a quite the rarity. The higher in the ranking you get, the better you get as a martial artist, the less violent you become. Uh, you know what kind of hell you can unleash and you recognize its solemn purpose. So. Number one, I protect life and health, and I avoid violence whenever possible. So, that's the first one he put on there. It must be important. Number two, I respect the property and space of all. I avoid taking what is not offered. So, that's... that's that's a good one too. Respect the I respect the property and space of all. So, uh, going back to self defense situations, you are valid in your self defense understanding if what you do protects your life um, within the law boundaries of the law. Um, but. If you live your life 
damaging property or not caring about uh, the fact that other people exist. So a lot of people don't get this. A lot of people don't. Um, look at the inconsiderateness they uh, put on others. So think about this. Cause for the cause, y'all. If you're checking out at a grocery store and after you're done, the transaction is completed and you have to sit there and put yourself back together, you know, put your money in your wallet or your card in your wallet or whatever, and put everything back where it needs to be, needs to go and it's taken you a minute, that's inconsiderate. As inconsiderate as, as it is to be on the phone if someone else is checking you out at a store. Don't get me mixed up. If you're in a line and someone is ringing up your the product that you've chosen yet not have bought yet. This is the product you've chosen, but it's not yours. Not yet. Not until you transaction this, these, the things that you bought. Well, if there's someone on the other side, so if you're doing self-checkout, don't matter. Perhaps. If you need help from the self-checkout, you better get off that phone. Uh, I respect the uh, property and space of all. I avoid taking what is not offered. So you can request offering. I'd like to have that knife of yours. Would you consider a trade? Or how much would you part with it for? Let's equal things up. Um, so those are the first two. Uh, our, our, this is the first of our series. So we're going to um, have a couple more of these. There's 14 areas. Uh, we'll, it's not two every time. Uh, in fact, some of them are, um, uh, the next one will be three of them, three again, Three again. Looks like it's three. Yep. Three forevermore. Okay. So just two this first time. Be safe. Be happy. Life doesn't come with happiness built in. You've got to bring it. So bring it. Get lost, but never lose your way. Thank you.